Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to enable shadow copies or volume shadow copies or previous versions on Windows Server 2016. Uh, we've been getting a number of uh, questions about this so we thought we'd record something quick. If you uh, have a new, uh, you know, new server, Server 2016, and you right click on the uh, disk and you select properties, you'll notice that under previous versions there's nothing here and uh, you can't enable it. The answer is to right click on your start button and select disk management which launches disk management right here and here is where you can enable shadow copies. Just right click and go to, sorry, it's volume shadow copy not disk shadow copy so if you right click on the disk and select properties you won't get where you're going. It's volume. Right click on the volume, select properties, select shadow copies and there you go. Now you'll be able to turn it on. So, what we want to do, I'm going to turn this on now, uh, and you can read through the errors, if the alerts, if, would, if you would like, but there's not much to there. It's just it's simply saying that this does cause some load. There it is, and to, for that disk, and for this Okay, so now I've got this turned on. I've got it set to where I want. I'm going to click Schedule. And uh, I don't understand why 7 and 12 are the logical times to default to. I say that because most people do a nightly backup, so the 7 a.m. is pretty pointless. So I always change this to 10 a.m. And I always change this till 2 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, there we go. And uh, I'll do the same on this one. Settings schedule. Um, I will not set it to be exactly the same time so that we don't have any contention. It doesn't take very long to do so I'll do 10.02 and in this disk I will do 2.02. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's uh, just show here if I go to uh, back to the disk and I go to previous versions. There's one there now. All right. So if you have any questions please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you.